Hey everybody, this video brings me and Chris back out to Fancy's Flea Market. And of course, the reason why we are at Fancy's Flea Market is to check out mostly the video game movie dome, AKA Pamela's. At some point, Mike should be joining us, but for right now, we're gonna go in. We're gonna find all the good deals and all the sharks and the monsters and whatnot. And I am the new shark and monster fan on Instagrams. Ooh, on, the grams. On, on the grams, on, on Instagrams, the, grams. the new Instagrams. I've got a whole bunch of stuff to, uh, to trade in here, so. All right, let's go see what we can find. I think she has some stuff on hold for me. Does she has stuff to hold on hold for you? I think, maybe? I think there might possibly. Possibly, possibly right. maybe. Well, we'll see. Let's go find out. Stay tuned. Pamela! Oh, wait, hold on. What's what's going on here? There's there's no Pamela. What's it say? Any questions or purchases? Go to the front re register. I am playing the, Pamela you're the, you're today. The, <laughs> and today today's uh, role of pamela will be portrayed by muppet stuff awesome well i got a whole bunch of trade-ins to do i you get nothing what? nothing and you will accept it in abundance okay well it's still not pamela unfortunately but hey at least mike has shown up so um i mean that's that, that's okay that, that's okay i mean it's it's something <laughs> What the heck is going on? So first Mike yep. shows up, and now Renee from oh, Radstash shows up. Happy Halloween. The only person who needs to be showing up is Pamela. Everybody else but Where's the person she? who needs to show up is, is showing up right now. Where's Where is she? she? I have no idea. We have no idea where Pam is. Pam is, Pam is M-I-A. She is missing. That's what I'm just going to call this video. I am playing where's Pam? Where's Pam? We've already established That's right. The role, the role of Pam today. is being portrayed by, by Muppet stuff today. But seriously, Pam. Oh my God, it's so good to see you. Where are you? All right, so we have no idea when Pamela is coming back. So uh, what we're gonna do now is walk around the rest of Fenties because, hey, why not? We have some time to kill. I did just walk around here only a couple of weeks ago, and I think I found maybe like one or two things. So who knows? Maybe maybe they've done some re restocking in those last couple of weeks. I hope so because we're we're gonna go walk around now. I know this might sound ridiculous, but I didn't actually know they ever did a Sky Dancers cartoon series. I knew of the toys. They were those crazy toys. Like, weren't they banned or something? Because they, they would spin the arms around really fast and they were like taking kids' eyes out or something, or supposedly that's what I heard anyway. But again, I had no idea they did a cartoon series. And um, here's a VHS of it. That is actually kind of tempting. I, it's, it's from like 1996. That is really cool. I love, I love 90s animation. So. I don't know what they're asking on these. I think they're only a dollar a piece. And if they are a dollar, you know what? I'm, I'm going to grab some Sky Dancers. I, hey, I like animation and um, I even like girling animation. So yeah, I'm, I'm picking this up. Have you guys seen the show? If you, if you like it, leave a comment down below. Let me let me know about Sky Dancers, the, the animated series. These are awesome. They're Burger King Sunkissed mugs. Look at that. Good vibrations. That is actually really cool. Making sure. Oh, it, that, ooh, that, that, that is good. Ooh. Totally saw that coming. Anyway, I'm, I'm loving it. It's an orange. It's an orange cool mug. What are they asking on these? They're uh, only one dollar a piece. So there you go. You could, you could drink your. You're drinking these, right? Oof. No, no. I get some good vibrations off it though. I give you that. What? That's about it. It's good vibrations. I get some good, good. Good. Dun, 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 bum, 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 and I don't Copy know the words to this song. This is kind of tempting. I mean, yeah, it's technically missing its lid, but this is an original McDonald's boo bucket. This is the glow in the dark one as well, which was my all time favorite of these. I don't really want it for me. I would kind of get it to resell. I'd, they're, they're only asking five bucks on it. That's a really good deal, but it, it doesn't have its lid. So I don't, I don't know if it's really worth picking out without the lid, but that is, that is really awesome. I mean, boo, boo buckets are hot right now. They're, they're hot. They're trendy. That's, that's tempting. I don't know. This is really tempting to pick up, but again, it doesn't have its lid. But the, the glow in the dark McBoo was my all time favorite of these buckets. I kind of want to grab this for me, but I think with lid, I, I would have to pass on it for me. I did look up to see what these sell for online, and they, they're selling for around $20 without lid, so it kind of makes sense for me to get this if I wanted to resell it. But I, again, I just, I don't, I don't know. This stuff's like really hot right now, but, but Halloween is just about to end in, in like two days, so do, do, do I pick this up? Maybe. This is what I love seeing. Vintage Disney Parks merchandise. This is awesome. Walt Disney World Millennium Celebration. That is so cool. No figment on there though, so I'm gonna pass on that. They also have things like the plate here and some ears and all kinds of awesome things. Some Disney pins. That's for the hoop de doo review. That's awesome. But unfortunately, not one of these items is a figment item. So it's cool to see just Disney Park stuff, but if it's not, if it's not figment Disney Park stuff, then, then I don't want it. 
there's a lot of awesome horror DVDs here. I'm seeing some really cool things like Blood of 1000 Virgins. That's awesome. Disc was a little scratched. I'm going to pass on that one. But I'm picking up these two. The Candy Snatchers. Never seen this. So they said they would do five for that one. So definitely grabbing that. And some Troma here with the Stendhal. Am I saying that right? Syndrome. I've never seen this either. But also for $5. So $10 total. Definitely grabbing those. There's some really cool artwork here as well. Look at that. From Black Sabbath up there. All kinds of other cool artwork here. Tempted by some of these. That's awesome. But uh, for right now, just going to grab these. All right. So done looking around the rest of Fences. And oh my gosh, she's back. Pamela! There we go. The, real, the real one. The real the Pamela. Real yeah, because Chris was taking over for you while, while you were gone. Just yes. like, he was your, your understudy, Chris. But now, the stuff was taking but over now, for now you. the master now, returns. Now she is back. So have you gone through all my stuff already? Yes, wow. Did. That was quick. All right. So um, what do I have on hold? All right, so here's everything that Pamela has on hold for me. Grabbing Bullet Train. I, some of you guys have comments saying about how great... Have you seen this movie? I, I want to. It's on my list of things to see. People have comments saying this is a fantastic movie. Has Have, have you seen it yet? Yes. Was, was it good? All right, that's... <laughs> I, like, I turn around and all of a sudden, ah, jeez, whoa. So, all right, so pick it up, Bullet that's Train. Hell, it's, a, it's a whole thing now. Pick it up, Bullet Train. That's <laughs> awesome. Then I'm grabbing a whole bunch of documentaries here. We're grabbing uh, some FBI crime lab from Modern Marvels. Bi 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 biography of the Kellogg's. Well, you're freaking me out, man. Go go away. You're, you're scaring me. Some more biography here. Sam Walton. Biography, Alec Capone. Biography, The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Biography, Harlem Go Globetrotters. And this is my favorite one, American Porn, Frontline, dun, awesome. Dun, 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 and dun, dun. Uh, Smart History Channel here with uh, Carlson and Cody, the Hunter Heroes. This is a sequel to American Porn. Freaking me out, man, seriously, go, scoot, scoot back, you're scaring me. So apparently I'm not the only one who had something on hold because um, Chris is grabbing this. Uh, I'm grabbing it. He's, hey, he's, he's scooting, he's scooting close again. <laughs> so you're grabbing the uh, the Sesame Street playset here. That's yes, awesome. So I have a few of the older versions of this, but this is a you know a newer one. Oh, it, that's like, cool. Look, there's all the characters in there as well. That's cool. I'm not sure how you open it. I don't even know. I think we just wow. Nov novice. You don't novice. even know how to open it up. I know. Okay. Anyway, that's cool. You don't you don't have oh, that one. Don't there you go. You don't, you don't have that one yet? I do not have this one. Sweet. All right. Well, I had one where the doors were broken or something. So uh, when Pam found this, I like, yeah, yeah, grab me that. And there's some characters yes, in there. Just open up. There we go. Put some elbow grease into it. Oh, the character's a little beat up, but uh, it's all right. I'm not getting it for the figures. I'm getting it for the house anyway. So. I think you took longer to talk about the one item you got than it took me to talk about the pile of movies I got here. Well, just keep focusing on this one. And that's all. That's all. That's, that's all. <laughs> Oh man, Pamela's pulling out the big guns now. Look at this. Wow, Courageous Cat and Minute Mouse from the creators of Batman. $125. I'm guessing this is quite out of print, isn't it? That is so cool. Kind of wish I had more uh, store credit right now because if I did, probably be grabbing this. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm actually starting to run out of store credit, which isn't good. That is so cool. It's the complete series. I, I want this. And now, now that I, stop it. And now that I showed it off, somebody's gonna be like, Pam, I'll, I'll take that. I, I know, snooze you lose. And I'm probably gonna lose out on that one. All right, so now that I went through everything that Pamela has on hold for me, of course, I have to go through everything she has here in the case, all the new stuff she got in. And uh, she did get a couple of titles that I think I'm gonna pick up. One of them being American Masters, Hank Williams, Honky Tonk Blues, a documentary all about Hank Williams. I love, I love Hank Williams. Fantastic, original, classic country music. So definitely grabbing that for $5. And I'm also picking up the 1964 World's Fair because why not? This actually looks really really awesome. So definitely grabbing that. And then, and then I'm picking up something kind of, well, no, definitely 100% controversial, but um, it's something I feel, I, I feel I need. <laughs> you, go away. You're freaking me out. Okay. So um, with that bit of disturbingness, something else that's also kind of disturbing. I'm picking up Triumph of the Will. Yeah, if you guys do not know what this is, this is the um, film that Hitler put together back in 1934 as a, a Nazi party propaganda movie. It's it's a disturbing one, but um, I'm a big fan of history and I'm a big fan of film history and I feel like this is something I have to kind of sort of own. I don't, it, again, terribly, horribly, awful, d disturbing movie, but um, for, for, for history's sake, for film history's sake, for my collection's sake, I'm, I'm going to pick that one up. Yeah, I feel, 
I feel weird buying that, but I, I feel like I, I also kind of have to, sort of. Yeah, I, I feel dirty. Something else, Pamela, just got in was uh, Behind the Candle Opera, which I've never seen, but I hear this is such a fantastic movie, a, a fantastic film all about Liberace. So this is really cool. I definitely want to pick this up. I technically have it on Blu-ray, but I have it in like a Region B release. So I, I need to have, I guess, the the Blu-ray and the DVD, even though I do have a region-free Blu-ray player. Look, I'm, I'm weird like that. If I have something in like a different a different region, I have to have it at least in, in some American region. So this is cool. All right, five, whatever, five bucks. Just more of my store credit that I, I now don't have. All right, well, I'm down to $21 in store credit, but um, go go away, Chris, go away. But I think I'm also gonna pick up Beast. It looked interesting. The synopsis sounds pretty good. I I don't know, I'm thinking thinking this is a good pickup. I, I Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna grab this. So now I'm down to $6 in store credit. That's it, I got, I got a whole whopping $6. I need to get rid of more movies. That's what I have to do, right? Well, do more whopping. Or do more whopping. You know, six whopping dollars left. So if you do some more whopping, then you get the, the whopper dollars add up. That's how you get more store credit. You have to whop. Everyone knows that. You know, what I have to do is more thrifting without Chris. Yeah. Okay, all right. So I'm not walking out of here spending all of my store credit. Technically, I'm going to have $1 left because I'm picking up um, season two of Wallaburgers. I, I have season one. I, I don't have season two yet. Still brand new factory steel. That's, that's pretty awesome for five bucks. So $1 left. All right, yeah, I, I have to trade in more stuff. So Pamela just got in a whole bunch of 3D titles. Unfortunately, it's mostly all stuff I are. Gee, stop it! <laughs> so are you you picking up some 3D? Yeah. What are you grabbing okay, there? The Christmas Carol. All right, it's a ghostly title for this Halloween season. <laughs> I mean, I mean, technically, I guess you could kind of sort of count it for for Absolutely. Halloween, but the Christmas Christmas season is is coming upon us, so you can watch it then. Or for Halloween. Or for both. It's like, a, it's like a Nightmare Before Christmas. It's a multi-year, multi-holiday movie. No, because oh. Nightmare Before Christmas is a Christmas movie, not a Halloween movie. So Pam also just got in some new laser discs, and even though I don't really collect for laser discs anymore, I will pick up something I, I don't have in any other format. I was looking at Spirit Lost, but I don't know, this one sounds kind of weird about some dude who I guess bangs a ghost or something. It, it doesn't get very good reviews online, so if you've seen this movie, leave a comment down below. It's still brand new factory, seal what just need, but I'm gonna end up passing on that. She got some other interesting things too, but nothing I really need to pick up. So just gonna end up passing though. Unfortunately, I've been looking for a Laserdisc copy of The Lion King, because we just realized that um, The Lion King actually is edited since, since DVD, it has been edited. So if you wanna have an unedited copy, you gotta have it on VHS or Laserdisc. And I need a minty Laserdisc copy, unfortunately. The disc is, is not very minty. It's it's pretty scratched up. So I'm gonna end up having to pass on that. It's a shame. She said she'd actually give that to me for a dollar. So I could have spent all my store credit today had that only been, been minty. I don't know who owned this originally, but I don't like you very much. All right, well, with my whopping, yes, I'm using the word whopping again. Whopping. With my whopping one, whopping. <laughs> my whopping one dollar store credit left. I think that's gonna do it for the video game movie dome. And you may notice that up there on the shelf is the um, Courageous Cat and Minute Mouse DVD. Not because Pamela had that on hold for me, because somebody literally just came in here and said, yeah, I'll take that. So like I said, you snooze, you lose. That is gone and that hurts. What? He came in whopped it right out of my nose. He whopped it. Whopped it See, right off of my nose. You, you, you snoozed and he whopped. Anyway, with that, we are done here at the Video Game Movie Dome. So, um, all right, as always, guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And of thank course, check down below for links to Patreon, Spreadshirt, and the Cinema Sickness story it came from Cinema Sickness. Also, I'll put links to all of Pamela's stuff down below as well, to her Facebook page, to her Instagram, uh, to, her YouTube, to her YouTube. If you guys want to get anything from her, if you guys are not stupid like me and you see something amazing in this video that you're like, I need to get that, contact her immediately. She'll put on hold for you. $5 flat rate shipping for if you want to order one thing or 100 things, $5 shipping. Amazing deals from Pamela here. And she can find pretty much anything. You're like, what? I was going to say, <laughs> find a whopping good she can, deal. She can, go away. She can find pretty much anything you want. So definitely hit her up if you're looking for something. There are I'll, a whopping amount of time. You know what? I was going to say, also check down below for a link too. But we don't, you know, who cares about this guy? Whopping stuff, apparently. It's whopping stuff today. Muppet stuff. Look down below for Muppet stuff. Also check down below for my second channel, Retro Rest Stop for Fun at Daily Adventures, and I will see you guys in the next video. Where you'll find lots of whopping links below. That, 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 that's it. I'm, I'm, I'm done with this guy. 
Video Game Movie Dome, Fenty Flea Market. Check down below for all the links. Great, fantastic place. I'm out of here. All right, have, leave me alone. Bye.